Dota 2 players were promised 250,000 US dollars worth of items and they've never turned up. It's been months and there's been no information and nobody knows where these items are. I want to talk about that and explain the entire situation as well as present some comments I have directly from the tournament organisers themselves. Prizes not being received is seemingly a staple in esports from the very beginning to current day. It seems nowhere is safe from poorly run tournaments, shady managers or money going missing for whatever reason you can possibly imagine. The e Esports World Cup is a multi-game tournament held in Riyadh, hosted by the Esports World Cup Foundation and the ESL Face It Group. It was announced in 2023, with the overall event ending in late August. The discussion here starts with the Riyadh Masters 2024, which served as the final championship of the second season of the ESL Pro Tour, which was a part of the Esports World Cup lineup. The event is notably organised by both the Esports World Cup Foundation and the EFG, the ESL Face It Group, which is more commonly known Known as ESL. The event is funded by the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, which is the sovereign wealth fund of the country, with the purpose of investing funds on behalf of the government of Saudi Arabia. During this event, it was routinely advertised that a $250,000 item giveaway was taking place, which you could enter by watching the tournament and typing exclamation mark drops. The giveaway entailed different item bundles as described by the organizers in advertisements, including over 1,400 Arcana set bundles, 100 Immortal bundles with an image of the Mace of Eons, 25 Crimson bundles, 5 Premier Crimson bundles, and 30 rare item bundles depicting a Dragon Claw hook, and notably 10 exclusive Courier bundles. Now, this to anybody in the high tier trading scene was in itself contentious. Sourcing 250,000 US dollars worth of items like this takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and doing so without being recognized is extremely difficult. Many of these items are very limited and when it's known that someone is sourcing many of them at once, the price increases massively. Also, just the sheer amount of admin required to source and organize these 1,600 prizes is crazy. The important part before I go into that further is that since this giveaway, everyone who allegedly won is yet to receive their prize. It's been over 80 days since the conclusion of the event and the growing sentiment and overall conclusion of everybody I have found discussing this topic is that they feel that this is a scam. In late July, Winners of these items were whispered by the EWC Dota 2 account on Twitch, congratulating them of being selected for the giveaway, along with a form asking them to fill out required questions and saying it takes two to four weeks to process. Apparently, this form required no sensitive information that players felt they could be used to compromise their Steam accounts, which, believe it or not, has occurred in the past from other tournament giveaways. As time went on, these winners were requesting more information from EWC and were told it may take two to four weeks from the completion of the entire Riyadh Masters. However, even if it took two to four weeks from the completion of the entire Esports World Cup, that in itself was over six weeks ago. And not only have the prizes not been awarded, there's been no more information about this. The only official information I've been able to find about any of this is a couple of Reddit comments from ESL staff who were just simply commenting on whether or not the whispers from the EWC were legitimate or not. But the most important part here is that while producing this video, I reached out to both the Esports World Cup Foundation for comment on the situation, to which they never replied, and also the ESL Face It Group's press team. I communicated directly with their public relations staff, and I explained that I was producing a video on this topic, and I would like an official statement, and this was their response. Due to the sheer bulk of requests and winners, it has taken us longer than expected to properly procure the items, as we want to ensure every winner is treated with fairness, and they all receive their drops at the same time. We apologise to our winners for the delay, but assure them that we are working on this issue and they will receive their items from us soon. Now, this is a very positive message that I'm able to communicate to all the winners of this giveaway directly from the source. They have reiterated that rest assured you will receive your prize winnings and that they don't want to only give out some of the prizes at a time and want to award all the prizes in the same instance. I'm going to touch on my thoughts about why this may be true and the mistakes the Esports World Cup has made with their deep misunderstanding of the Dota 2 item scene which led to this entire debacle. But before that, I just want to relate my feelings in that it really shouldn't take someone like me 
Tony, who has no vested interest in this resolving. I didn't receive a prize drop during this tournament. I did not win a prize. However, I just felt that the Dota 2 community should not be taken advantage of, and I wanted this to be resolved. And I should not have to reach out for comment when the community has almost unanimously agreed that these prizes would never materialize. If this comment is accurate about the situation, which we must work under the assumption that it is, they really should have made a simple statement publicly somewhere to prevent this situation from escalating online due to the lack of information. Because by this point, everybody I can find talking about this online is resolved to never getting the items that they've been promised. And that just wasn't necessary, which further shows perhaps the naivety of the Esports World Cup Foundation at this point. I do know other people who have contacts at ESL and reached out for some kind of help or assistance, but heard absolutely nothing back. Now, the overwhelming sentiment from players was that this was a scam. Before I published this comment, I'm sure that might change people's minds. But prior to this, everyone's assumption, just some kind of embezzlement or money was being stolen or perhaps just some unbelievable incompetency from the tournament organizer. There are endless Reddit threads and players are wondering what's going on. They're making up their own minds based on how this has been handled. But I'll touch on that at the end. I want to get back to the proposed items that were being given away. I want to break down what their actual real cash value is. This is not their Steam market value. This is the price you can source these items for in real cash. This is the price that the Esports World Cup Foundation would incur to source these items themselves. All of the descriptors that are given are extremely vague, so I'm going to have to make some assumptions. And with the word bundle being constantly used, it seems to imply that there is more than one thing in each of them. But I'll have to go off here what there is possible to see in the advertisements and that's a single item that they're advertising and you'll understand why in a second why this ends up not making a whole bunch of sense. So the 1440 Arcana set bundles. Arcanas are typically worth around 16 to 17 US dollars a piece, depending on the Arcana obviously, but let's go off the images that they've used. Rubik, for example, is closer to 20 USD, so let's round up for all of these numbers to give them the benefit of the doubt that they are overpaying slightly for all of these and including fees. The Rubik bundles at 1,440 quantity are worth around 28,800 US dollars. The next item is the 100 times immortal bundles. The Mace of Eons is displayed. They're changing hands at the moment at around 230 US dollars, but their supply really isn't very large. There's less than 60 of these on the Steam market alone, and those 100 immortals would cost $23,300. 30 rare item bundles, this item displays the Dragon Claw Hook, which is in itself around 190 US dollars. However, I think that the term rare item is likely a reference to the rarities of the benefactor rare item drop list that Valve has used many times in the past, which can contain significantly higher value items than the Dragon Claw Hook itself. Anyway, the Dragon Claws in the quantity of 30 is around 5,700 US dollars. 25 Crimson Bundle displays the Nyx Assassin Crimson items, which are valued at around 100 US dollars, so that's $2,500. Five times Premier Crimson Witness Bundles. These are the lowest quantity prize, which might imply that they're the highest value. The item displayed is the Spectre Crimson, which is worth around 900 US dollars at the moment, which means that these are around 4,500. And the most interesting part here to me is the exclusive Courier Bundle, which shows a Gingerbread Baby Roshan. Those are around $900 at the moment, so that totals about 9k, which means with my rough estimations it puts the total cash value of all of the prizes at 73,500 USD. So that's putting a lot of stock in the term bundle for them to somehow attribute $250,000 worth of value unless they're somehow being extorted. This discrepancy in the prizes estimated values and the perceived value of the entire giveaway has been another reason that people have believed this to be a scam after all. But like I said, it's definitely possible to make up all that extra value. They're just using the term bundle quite loosely, and I'm not entirely sure what that means. But with this item, and along with many others, I think... In my opinion, I believe it's undeniable that these items have not been purchased or sourced in these quantities at present moment by the Esports World Cup Foundation or by ESL for the purposes of them being given away, as these quantities would make a specific and significant dent in the Steam market or cash market which has not been seen, and none of the people I know who are dealing in such items have come across somebody purchasing items in this manner over the last four months. The implication is that those 10 couriers could 
perhaps be other more valuable baby Roshans, and that those rare items could be anything like the golden Rubik cape or the Kunkka shoes or many of the other more expensive rare items, but still that's giving a lot of stock to the term bundle for this to end up being 250,000 US dollars. That's still like 170,000 USD to make up for this all to make sense. In my opinion, it's extremely likely given the amount of money that was thrown around at this event that this is simply part of the Riyadh Masters and the Esports World Cup as a whole, which was completely mismanaged, overpromised, and underdelivered while being entirely incompetently ran. However, an explanation is not an excuse. To me, it's so clear that whoever designed this advertisement and giveaway was asked something along the lines of what items would be on a wish list for people to win, and then they just made up quantities based on their budget for the giveaway and the values that they could find quickly online, which has misled them and gave them a false sense of security in thinking that they can simply buy these items for that price and in that quantity easily, when that is in fact not the case at all. You can't just go and shop online and buy 10 of some of the most rare items that exist in Dota 2 and that's reflected in their response. But you have to pick up on the, the sheer bulk of requests and winners section of their response. The giveaway is exactly what you prescribed. It wasn't a shock that there's 1,600 winners. In fact, it's exactly what the organisers were aware needed to be sourced in the first place. I feel like their history in giving away perhaps CSGO items in other giveaways which are in comparison completely liquid and easy to source. You could, in fact, source a quarter of a million dollars in CSGO skins in an afternoon, whereas in Dota 2, I've had to spend two weeks full time to secure a deal for a single hyper rare item, close to like a hundred hours of work from different brokers, six different parties involved. It's not simply just something you can snap your fingers and make happen. And clearly whoever at the Esports World Cup Foundation that designed this giveaway has had a very bad couple of months when they figured out the Herculean task ahead of them. I'd like to say at this point, if they are still sourcing items, or in the future, they need to reach out to somebody qualified to consult and help them source these items properly, because even with the quantities that they have decided in this giveaway, I think it would be possible for someone like me or some of my friends who trade high tier items to source that quantity of those items in this amount of time without being extorted on price. I wasn't able to find any actual terms and conditions for this giveaway anywhere regarding this promised $250,000 prize. Now, the little information I can find about giveaways being ran in Saudi Arabia is that competitions should not exceed 60 days in length, that the results of the competition should be declared within a period not exceeding 30 days, and that the prize should be awarded within 7 days. I'm obviously not versed to understand whether or not these requirements are necessary for them to follow in this specific case, but regardless, there is best practices for running these kind of giveaways and ESL has been running esports tournaments including giveaways for well over a decade and should not be associated with running something this poorly. I hope that the winners are given what they've been told that they've won and it makes no sense to me that this is simply some kind of scam or embezzlement and that the $73,000 at least should not be substantiated as the event prize pool for this and the associated esports world cup was well over $60 million and the operating cost of of those events would increase that number massively also. Surely this has to just be incompetence from misunderstanding perhaps the difficulty of organising such a giveaway in Dota 2 and the comparative ease of organising such a giveaway in something like Counter-Strike or perhaps some kind of limitation of substituting these prizes for some kind of cash value. Regardless, this must be addressed and this has to be remedied. If not to maintain the legitimacy of all of the Riyadh tournaments and the Esports World Cup Foundation as well as the ESL Face It group, which is world-renowned for running Dota 2 and CSGO tournaments properly among a sea of thieves. But for the sake of the sponsors of this event and all of ESL's events, who should not want to be associated with such a situation. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you got this far, maybe you have an interest in Dota 2 items, you should check out the Dota 2 items and info discord, which is linked in the description. People share their interesting stuff that they own or that they see or they want to buy. And it's a great place to hang out and discuss Dota. This is something very different to my typical videos. If you enjoyed this or you want to see more things like it, please let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate it massively. Thank you so much to my YouTube members for supporting the channel. There's a bunch of members only videos on the channel and every person who joins gets their name added to my inventory to be shown at the end of every outro.